Today I'll be showing you how to create titles straight out of Game of Thrones using geometry effects in HitFilm. Let's jump right in and get started. We'll start inside a new composite shot by creating the background. I have a stock video of Falling Ash from ActionVFX.com that I'll put in first. In the controls, scale it up, then flip it horizontally using the layout panel. To add some more texture, I'll drop in a picture of lens dirt. This will be a subtle effect, so lower the opacity until it's barely visible. Next I want to add some light rays coming from the top right. Create a new plane that is taller than your composite. Add both fractal noise and auto volumetrics to this plane. I'll place the volumetrics point up in the top right where I want the rays to begin. Select the ellipse mask tool and draw a shape in that area. This is why the plane has to be bigger than the comp. If you want the rays to start from off screen, the plane they sit on has to exist there. Now in the auto volumetric controls under light source, lower the threshold. Under render, Increase the exposure to make the rays brighter. You can change the way they look by adjusting the fractal noise settings. For example, increasing the influence under subsettings makes the rays more defined. Keyframing the seed will make them appear to move throughout the shot. To colorize these rays, choose a color and then increase the amount. Come over to New Layer and select Text. A cursor will appear on screen, and you can start typing. Highlight the title and go into the text panel. For this effect, I'll use a font called Sinzel. I'll also make it a darker gray color. In the Controls panel, click the plus icon next to Geometry. Then select Extrude. This will give the text depth, which can be adjusted in the dropdown. I'll set mine to 15. Before we add in the next geometry effect, let's add a light so that we can see what we're doing. The text has gone dark, but that's also because it isn't reflecting anything. Since this title is supposed to be made of metal, we need to add an environment map. Select the text layer and drop down the material tab. Under environment map, you can either select use composite shot or use layer, whichever looks better in the end. If you choose the second option, select which layer you want it to pull from in the dropdown that appears. The text will take on some of the reflections. Now add a bevel geometry effect. You can adjust the depth and expansion to change the look of the text. Depending on which font you use, it might also help to checkmark internal edges, which will improve the render. I'll also lower the intensity of the light so that there aren't any white spots on the title. To add an orange backlight, I'll duplicate the one we already have. In the controls, I'll push it back in Z-Space to put it behind the title. In the light dropdown, change the color to your liking, then lower the intensity if needed. To make it look like the title is casting a shadow, add the auto volumetrics effect to the text layer itself. Once again, move the position handle to where the light rays are coming from. Under Render, change the Blend to Multiply. You can adjust how dark the shadow is by changing the Exposure slider above. And that's pretty much it for the title. A 0.5 or 1 pixel blur effect on the text might help make it look less CG. For another Game of Thrones tutorial, click the card on screen to learn how to turn yourself into a White Walker. Leave any questions down below and I'll see you all in the next video.